Curtis Seven here, back again with the Seven Show, lads. Back for another season of the Premier League. It's in. <laughs> I'll leave that with you, Edgar. Thanks, See mate. You Anyways, my panelists, ladies and gentlemen, you guys remember them from last season. On my right hand side, we've got Chris. Say hello to the future, Chris. How are you? Welcome back to the Seven Show. And on my left hand side, we've got Edgar. And make sure you just subscribe to him. Check the link in the description. Edgar TV11. Say hello to Could the people. Good to be back, guys. Yes, now back on the Seven Show. Lads, another season. It's been yeah. a while since we've done a Seven Show. Oh, mate. I've missed it. So have I, so have I. But more importantly, I've missed the football. Absolutely. Me personally. It's been too long, eh? Oh, mate. I just. Mate, I'm sure you guys are the same. Uh, but today on the show, we're going to talk about uh, transfers. That's happened so far up until today when we're actually recording this. So I think this should come out tomorrow. So I think Dean Maria should have signed for PSG yeah, when this video actually comes out. He's already passed the medical. That's where we're up to right now. But anyways, lads, we're going to talk about not just United, not just Liverpool. We're going to talk about all teams, but obviously in depth with the bigger clubs. So first things first, let's get to the first club promoted to the Premier League, lads, Bournemouth. Uh, fair effort for a very, like, no disrespect to Bournemouth fans, yeah, but a for small a small club. Yeah, very small club. But uh, they, I think they've bought okay for a club in their size. Like, Distan, he's not the greatest defender in the world, but he's not the worst either. And his value, you know, I think he came free. Up, yeah, free, you know, so he, he's getting on a bit. But Joshua King as well. Yeah, former United boy. Yeah, he never, was right. Yeah, never quite made it, but. Hey. Adam Fed, Fitch, uh, Federici, the goalkeeper from Australia. So they, they've done okay. Bournemouth. Um, I think they might struggle to stay up, though. Yeah, you got to talk about Christian Atsu as well. That's probably their best song. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Christian Atsu from Chelsea on loan. Yeah, on loan. He, he, he raps on him. He'll probably do some damage this season, 100%. But. Predictions, that's what I'm going to say. Predictions, we're not going to actually give out our predictions in this episode. We're going to give out our predictions when the transfer deadline day ends because I've been... A lot can change, right? A lot can change. I've been stooged in the past so many times. Mm. Like, yeah, uh, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. And then, boom, transfer deadline day. United get Falcao, De Maria, and Daily Blind, Rojo, like, yeah, on the last well, day. Time. It's like, Jesus, mate. You didn't see that coming. You know what I mean? So, mate... Transfer deadline day, you will see our um, predictions then. But for now, I'm leaning towards Bournemouth going straight back down, unfortunately. So that's just my opinion. But in uh, in other news, Arsenal, lads. Petr Cech. What huge, a signing that is. Huge it's, great, it's a great signing. It'll bring confidence to the defence. The defence will step up now with him protecting them. Oh, definitely, definitely. You can see what he done in the Community Shield as well. Like. Oh, he was pretty... Yeah, yeah you, can, favor, you can tell he's solid. You yeah. can tell, like, that is what Arsenal have been asking for for years. Since David Seaman, probably. They haven't had a pretty game. much, pretty much. Yeah. So, uh, but in saying that, they've got rid of a lot of players as well. Yeah. Diaby, yeah. who's not really big miss, injury prone, quality, very quality player, but very, very player. only when he's on the park, and that yeah. is very rarely. Exactly. Podolsky gone. Carl yeah. Jenkinson online, eh, Chesney gone to Roma. Yeah, look, for me, that probably wraps up Chesney's career at Arsenal for me. Unless, yeah. unless Ospina just flips and goes, nah, I'm not going to compete against Peter Cech, I'm out. That's the only way I can see him coming back. Yeah, that's what I reckon too. But we're going to get to the top four a little bit after the teams as well. But moving on now, uh, Aston Villa. Mm. Um, huge, huge losses in the summer. Christian yeah. Benteke to Liverpool. And Fabian the Snake Delph <laughs> going to City in two moves, two transfers, I think it was, in the end. But in saying that, I think, uh, being realistic here, yeah, I think Villa have done some quite good business getting in as well. Scott Sinclair, permanent deal, that's pretty good, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Mikael Richards at the back, that's a solid signing as well. Rumours to be had as well. Um, Emmanuel Adebayor coming with Sherwood to um, Villa. I think that could be half yeah. decent yep. as well. And Jordan Ayew as well. So I think they've done okay, mm. Villa. Your opinions on Villa? Yeah, I think, I think they're going to miss Benteke a lot. And There's a lot of goals yeah, there to really replace. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully he does well at his next club. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> For me, if Villa get a solid cup run and a solid position mid-table, 
in the league, I'd give that a pass. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. But yeah, it's still a fairly young team, man. Mean, but in saying this, there's still a long time to go in the uh, transfer window. Yeah, they, yeah. Still, they still could sign Addy Boyle and maybe or Berbatov, they're saying. They That's could. it. Yeah, yeah Berbatov as well. Released. Yeah. Uh, oh, Berbatov. Yeah, he got released by Monaco. Really? Yeah. So he's looking for a club. Mate, club, mate, United hit a striker. I would huh. definitely take him back on no. that for a season. You wouldn't? No. Berbatov. No. He is proper nah, class. You got, you got off the bench. You got Wilson off the bench. Chicharito off the bench. Berbatov. He's done his time. Nah, Berbatov's in another nah. league, mate. Alright, moving on to Chelsea. The Premier League champions. Yep. But they've bought next to nobody. Yeah, that's right. Oh, sorry. Except Madame Alfao Cow. Who? Who? Right about Falcao on loan on those high demanding wages yeah. and uh, as Mia Begovic from Stoke, which was an interesting one yeah, in my opinion. Um, thoughts on Begovic? Uh, to, to me, I see it as a waste of a oh, really absolutely. good goalkeeper. Absolutely. I would have taken him at Liverpool in a heartbeat as our, as our number one. Yep. Over oh, Mignolet? Yep. Yeah, it's, I mean, Begovic is different class, but I don't know if Courtois is going to drop... Drop form anytime soon. Doesn't look like it. So. Well, to be honest, if Petr Cech can't, you yeah, know, well, that's right. If he can't get in the spot, I think mean, yeah, well, I think Begovic is going. The only way Begovic is getting in there, he's got a broken hand or something. There's no way. Mourinho, he's one that's kept uh, Casillas on the bench, so you never know. Yeah, he's, yeah. Um, yeah. He likes having two good goalkeepers. Yeah, he's a bit weird when it comes to goalkeepers, Mourinho, mm-hmm. isn't it? Uh, I remember that. Uh, but in saying that, they've lost a lot of players as well. Uh, not massively, but you know, um, Drogba's gone. Uh, oh, Frank Lampard went last year as well. But they've got a lot of youth players going out on loan. They do every season. Yeah. They literally have like 20 players that go out on loan all the time. Yeah. But anyways, enough for Chelsea because they haven't really bought anyone yeah. else. Uh, Crystal Palace. Now, when I think Crystal Palace and Padre. Some juicy signings, man. Mate, mate, Connor Wickham. Oh, right? that's interesting, that, man. That was pretty good, okay? Yeah. Mate, Pe- uh, Patrick uh, Bamford. For Chelsea. Let's uh, see if he can crack in the Premier League, man. Had a cracking season with Middlesbrough. I thought he did have... follow up. Yeah, I know. But for the biggest one for me, Johan Kabai. Oh. Back in the Premier League. <laughs> Back under Padu. Yeah. yeah. I was a bit sad to see him go when he left Newcastle. But you Quality think, player, man. I was thinking of himself, Champions League, you know, go for it, whatnot. But apparently he just sat on the bench for 18 months. and oh, he did, really? He's done nothing. To be so, honest, it's one of those transfers where I don't, I don't understand why Liverpool haven't gone for him personally. But we'll talk about that later. But we're like in midfield and he's just... He's, like, he's, he's class. class. Oh, he's, he's, he's not expensive at all. Okay. Nah, so... Uh, Crystal Palace, for me, they're winning in the, uh, the summer so Absolutely. far. Uh, but like we said, still signings to be done. Everton, moving on to Everton right now. Tom cleverly moved uh, from United on a permanent deal for free. Yeah. I think, for me personally... That's a good deal for Everton. Look, uh, for me, if you're getting the cleverly that finished off the EPL season under Sherwood, that, that's quality, man. I'll, mate, I'll be happy with that. He was it's, scoring goals at all last season. He, he was getting in the box, man. He was getting involved. Like, I'm not saying that is United quality, but for Everton, mate, I'd be very happy with that. Yeah, and uh, Gerard Delafayu. Delafayu, yeah. Delafayu. <laughs> it's Sorry, a funky name, man. It is, it is. Back at Everton after having a season at... Sevilla. Sevilla. So he was at Everton on loan, went to Sevilla. Now he's back at Everton permanently, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. That's, so, um, so that's an up. interesting one. The ex-Barcelona player. Thoughts on your rivals with uh, Cleverly and... I know, like, I think that, that Cleverly... Uh, I don't know It's a, it's a shaky signing. signing. But Delafayu, I think he has got the quality. Whether his hamstrings and his injuries can hold up, I'm not sure. But I don't know if they're going to lose a player in this window. I have a feeling mm. they're going to lose McCarthy, maybe. Ooh. Well, that'd hurt, man. So if they, would, if they lose McCarthy... What do you think McCarthy will I, I could see someone like, someone like Spurs maybe going for him or... Yeah, or the, yeah he has been linked with Spurs. You know, or John Stones leaving. John, yeah. Even John Stones leaving, yeah. So uh, There's a, lot, of, there's a lot, lot left in this window still. Yeah, all right, moving on to Leicester. Uh, for me, the biggest signing for Leicester, Claudio Ranieri, <laughs> is back in the Premier <laughs> League. <Absolutely>, <laughs> But other than that, um, they got Robert Hoof. Which Ch- Chelsea fans are probably asking who ran you. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, Snap! That, <laughs> that joke was going around a lot this summer. It. Oh, how funny was it? It's true, but... Yeah. Um, who else did they sign? I'm looking here. Not really yeah, anyone. Nothing, dude. Cambiasso gone out for free. Yeah, yeah. That's a bit sad. I liked him in the Premier League. He did score oh, a goal against United. Yeah, he got one against us. He didn't want to stay. He, he was, they, they, they begged him to stay. He did not want to stay. Yeah, he, I think he, he's heading off back to Argentina. Back to Argentina. 
Ugh, he's pulling a, a it down. He's pulling the name around, around us, has he? Yeah. All right, getting to Liverpool. Now, we'll touch on Liverpool a little bit later on when we talk about the top four. But for now, done a lot of business. James Milner mm. in on a free. Danny Ings as well. Adam Bogdan, uh, Joe Gomez, Firmino, Nathaniel Klein, Christian Benteke, all in for Liverpool. Chris, take it away, mate. Oh. Are you ha- first things first, are you happy with the signings? I'm happy to an extent. Like I'm happy with some of the, with the players that they've got in, but I still think that they're lacking in certain positions. Uh, take us through it, mate. No, 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 we'll get to that in the top four. Yeah, we'll talk about right, cool. what teams are lacking in that. But yeah, you're right. Um, I think they've bought well. I think... They've done good business with them, except Benteke. The value for money that they've spent, like Milner for free, you know, Nathaniel Klein only 12 million or something like that, you know, I think it's pretty good business. Maybe question marks on Benteke and Firmino, but the others, I think, has been pretty good business. I That's my I opinion. I don't know that if. Uh, we'll have to wait and see whether Benteke is worth that much money, but really, for a, a player of his potential. Oh, I think it's... You're talking looks, Aguero looks, money there, man. Yeah, but yeah, how long ago did they buy Aguero? It's still 30... What is it, 32? No. It's more it's, that... It's still some heavy cash. You've right? got, what, 40 not... I'm not... Look, I, I, Liverpool supporters and, and everyone, I think, has to understand that we're not the ones spending the money. So hmm. it, sh- it shows true. that they want to compete and, and improve on last season, which is a good thing. So they obviously yeah. don't don't trust Daniel Sturridge's um, injury record. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, now that's a good move as well. But, yeah, you raise a good point with the money because the money... You think, oh, it's a bit too much, it's a bit too... You know, but the way clubs are spending now... Like, let's yeah. be real. 30 is like the old 20 mil now. Yeah. How, how much is John Stone's being linked to? Oh, what, what, 30 mil. As good that. as he looks, like, what has he done in his career? It's just the English talent. To justify man. that it's much money. Out. Raheem Sterling. All right, I loved Raheem Sterling at Liverpool. And I think he'll still do well at Man City. But 49 million pounds... Like, it's a lot of money. Yeah, it's know? ridiculous. I'm sure Man City supporters aren't thinking, oh, it's too much money. Cause 50 mil is the new 30 mil. That's like That's kind right. of what the market's like now. Yeah. All right, now on to Manchester City. We're just talking about Raheem Sterling. Forty-nine million pounds. Massive, massive. Probably the biggest buy of the summer yeah. so far. Yeah. Money-wise, forty-nine. I don't think anyone's come close to that. And uh, Fabian Delf as well. That's another huge signing. And in my opinion, probably value signing for the summer. Eight million pounds from Villa to City. Quality signing. Mm. Thoughts? Yeah, look, for me, um, Man City are not going for Fabian Delph unless they're fulfilling their English quota. I mean, he's a good English Premier League player, but he's not a world-class. He's not someone that's going to sit next to Yaya Toure and really, you know, pound for pound sit. You can't see him starting? In oh, the... no, I think he will. I, I think he's Next probably, to Yaya Toure? He's probably an upgrade in terms of, like, Fernando, Fernandinho is a bit shaky. But I'm saying, in terms of the quality of Yaya sitting next to Delph, it doesn't quite complement each other. Yeah, yeah. Thoughts on City? Sterling, give us a little bit of insight to Sterling, how he was, how he's going to go at City. At first I was probably a little bit upset that he left Liverpool and I was kind of just saying, oh, he's not going to make it, he's going to be a bench player. But then I remember messaging you saying the same thing and you kind of put it to me that who's going to keep him out of the side? Yep. And I agree, like exactly. he's better than Nasri. Like, he's probably, up, he's probably up there with, with Silva as in t- hmm. technical ability. I think he'll work with Figueroa because with Spires, Sterling was 10 times a better player than he was last season. Yeah. And I think, yes, I think Sterling is going to do really, really well. Yeah. As much as it hurts me, I think he's going to do really, really well at City. So do I. I think he'll, he'll be involved, to put it this way, in 30 goals. Like he'll score 15, probably set up 15. And I think he'll be involved in 30 goals. Yeah, well. I think I, I agree with you. But enough about City. Don't want to talk about them too much. I think we gave them way too much time. Let's get to the bigger club in Manchester. Let's talk, let's talk. Let's talk about United and some big ins, or a lot of ins, definitely this summer. Yeah. Another massive summer for Louis Van Gaal. Not just in, but a lot of outs as well. First things, let's just talk about the outs very quickly. Uh, Tom Cleverley, Ben Amos, Tom Thorpe, Shady Janko, Nani, Will Keane, Robin Van Persie, and Radamel Falcao all gone from the club. And one that's not on the list, and how Di Maria to PSG. 47 million, there was reports 44 million, that's been bumped up by 3 million because of a leaked photo while having the medical. A bit strange that one, but yes. A lot of outs there, and there's a lot of players there on the high wage bill. Robin Van Persie, Falcao, Nani. A lot of players right there on massive, yeah, massive one, wages. 150 plus. Oh, Robin Van Persie and um, Falcao, that's 300k yeah. a week. Uh, uh, 500k, 500k a week between them. Do you know what I mean? That's a ridiculous yeah. guy right there. But anyways, 
Giving in Memphis Depay, Matteo uh, Damian, Bastian Swine Steiger, Morgan Schneiderlin, Sergio Romero. I was about to say Sergio Ramos. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. There was a lot of rumours about oh, Ramos. It would have been good, mate. It would have been good. I told him when I seen him at the hotel to come to the United, but he doesn't speak English that well. <laughs> Anyways. Por qué? Hola, amigo. Um, give us your thoughts onto the signings. Who are you most pleased about getting into the club, Edgar? Um, You're the United expert. Let's come to you. Expert. Um, well, to be honest... Probably Schweinsteiger, just from my point of view. Um, I'm a big fan of Schweinsteiger. He's just my kind of midfielder. Tough, can do it all, gets up and down, a leader, a hard man. But for a future prospect, Depay, no doubt. I mean, yeah. he's probably the hottest winger going around right now, other than Sterling, just because of that price tag. But, yeah, man, it's really exciting. Did see. very well in the, um, the, the Dutch league last yeah. season. Yeah. How many goals? He scored 20 goals he's or something? He's a top scorer, man. He's playing on the left wing. Top goal scorer? I yeah, didn't know that. Scorer. In the league? Yeah. Wow, impressive. We'll get on to United a little bit more when we talk about the top four. Uh, Newcastle United under Steve McLaren. Steve McLaren. They're back <laughs> in the Premier League after somehow, some way, not getting relegated in the Premier League. Brilliant. John Carver tried his hardest to get relegated. Somehow, they managed to survive. <laughs> Don't ask me how. But, in saying that, they've only made a few signings, but two half decent signings, in my opinion. Now, when you them, Wijnaldum, yeah. Is that how you pronounce it? Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum and... Mitrovic. Mitrovic, the yeah. uh, Serbian. Mm. The S Serbian Bellatelli, they call him. Yeah. Because he's, he's a, a bit, bit of a nutter. bit crazy. But Wijnaldum, he seems to be half decent. I've mm. seen his highlights. He, he, he's, he looks good. Yeah, look, I'm not uh, going to lie. That, he seems the kind of player that Newcastle need. When they lost Kabai, yeah. they lacked that midfielder. And he seems that midfielder that can push forward and score goals. Yeah, I'll... I'll be honest, the only time I've actually seen him play was in the World Cup. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I actually can... It sounded like they were saying Ronaldo at times. Like, oh, Ronaldo? Yeah, no, actually, yeah, it caught me off, off guard a couple of times. But anyway... Um, <laughs> he just caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, he's, he's a really explosive player, man. He's the Dutch Ronaldo. Yeah. We'll keep yeah. that one of those. <laughs> nah, the player, the Dutch Ronaldo. Oh, hey. I like that. Um, Newcastle, biggest disappointment for me... Coming Gutierrez. in, he goes. Has to be good here. Mate, how on earth? That's, that's cruel, mate. That's <sighs> that is that is a sadder story than Twilight. That one, <laughs> Gutierrez. Mate, it really is a, a business, mate. And, and somehow, place. Mike Williamson still at the club. Work that magic, one out. Magic, mate. I don't know. Anyways, getting on to Norwich City, back in the Premier League. Um, signings. To be honest, you pointed this out before, Edgar. Not that great. It's not that flash. Definitely not. Graham Dorans. Yusuf Malumbu, Robbie Brady, he's okay, Malumbu's okay, and Andre Wisdom. You know a bit about Wisdom. Yeah, he's he's okay. I think he's still got a future at Liverpool because they've told him that he, yeah, he's not going, there's, it's not a permanent move, it's not loan to permanent move. But um, yeah, I, I think their swings are not bad. Malumbu will shore up their midfield. I think what's going to help Norwich is the fact that Redmond's got another year of yeah. experience, of confidence in the yeah. championship under him. Now there's going to be... He knows, he's been in the Premier League before. He knows, mm. what it take, uh, knows what it takes. Him back in the Premier League. I'm not too sure about Norwich. I have a big question mark next to their name. Yeah, yeah. But, but you've got to give him credit. They've come straight back up again. That is very rare and, as well. Um, That's you know, very hard to do. Probably yeah. keeping the, um, the core. They've got the youngest manager, I think, in the Premier League. This yeah, season. 33. 34, 34, yeah, 33. something like that. They've got Van Wolfsfinkel back as well. <laughs> but now whether he can make he can make that step up to being Premier League manager at that age is yeah. very hard. So yeah, very cool question. Interesting. All right, next club. Let's get on to Southampton, the club that surprised us all last season. Absolutely. I pretty much predicted they would almost get relegated. I think we all did. I yeah, think right. everybody did. Yeah. Somehow, why they finished seventh or something like that or eighth. Mate, yeah, they give it a quality so, break. They were, in the, they were like hovering around the top four nearly all season. So, fair play to them. My second favourite team. So uh, being a Liverpool supporter, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in saying that, now, they did lose uh, Schneiderlin. Yep. That's a massive loss to them. Klein. Uh, yeah, Nathaniel Klein as well. That's another loss. Even bigger loss than Schneiderlin. <laughs> uh, Stecklenburg has gone to Southampton in goal. Um... Jordi, I can't pronounce his Classy. name. Classy. Classy? Classy? Yeah. 
And Stephen Corker, he's a good defender. Yeah, no, he's a he's smart class. man. QPR going down, Corker going yeah. to Southampton. You're never going to look good yeah, being so, a centre-back QPR. Yeah, that's half decent for them. So, anyways, pushing on, we are talking about Stoke City, who Liverpool play in the first game of the Premier League yeah. season. And what a finish they had to the season as well. I had to be said, sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, Stoke finished ninth. Yeah. Highest ever that they've finished in the Premier League of all time. Mark Hughes yeah, seems to be doing half the... You know what their nickname is? Stoke Alona. They're buying a yeah. lot of, of Barcelona players. Afalai. Afalai is in now. Brilliant. Mate, that's... Oh, mate, what a signing that is. Afalai, Boyan, Arnautovic. And compete. just as good quality as well with linked Barcelona players. We've got Glenn Johnson from Liverpool. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think people are a bit too harsh on Glenn Johnson. Yeah, he was a bang- bit of a scapegoat. He was, yeah, he was. That's exactly what he was. He was a bang average, but like you said, he was a, a it's scapegoat. He's been worse. Yeah, Shea Given, backup keeper. Oh no, he'll be their keeper now that Bigovic is gone. No, they've got the young kid. Ah, uh, my lord. Butland. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jake Butland. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's big raps on him, but big loss. Uh, Bigovic gone and Inzonzi yeah, gone as well. Severe? Uh, yeah, Sevilla. That's pretty mm. big. So, uh, Wilson Palacios, not so much of a big loss, but he's gone as well. Right, right here. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, it's getting on to Sunderland. Oh, by the way, Stoke, I think they're going to do half decent. Yeah. Personally. I think they're going to continue to do well. Yep. Um, if they sign, what do they need? Another midfielder, you reckon? Yeah. You know, uh, a creative Some, midfielder? Yeah, that definitely. Someone to place in Zonzi, I reckon. And I reckon they'll be alright. Alright, the next club is Sunderland. Dick Advocate. Um, he, did, he did. He <laughs> did. Very amateur of you. Uh, he, did, he did fairly well. Because uh, I, I, me personally, I thought Sunderland were going straight yeah, down. Yeah. And somehow, a bit like Newcastle, they survived. Luck in the North East was just there in the Premier League last Strong. season. But in for South, uh, Sunderland was Sebastian uh, Cotes. 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 Liverpool player, what are your thoughts on him? Never happened for him. Never happened to him at, for him at Liverpool. I still think he's a half decent player. He's really good on the ball. He's Uruguayan, isn't he? Mm. He's Uruguayan. He's only Six, 23, seven, 24. Yeah, he's, he's a big he's boy, huge, strong boy. Man. Maybe he's a little bit slow, but mm-hmm. yeah. I think he can come good. He can be a, definitely a Sunderland starter. Yeah, and Yunus Kabul at the back. No, <laughs> you don't reckon? You don't rate him? Looks like Morpheus. I think. It's a funny back three. Like, like if they were to play three at the back, they're going to have Wes Brown, John O'Shea, Eunice Kabul. That is an interesting pairing, to say the least. <laughs> I think Eunice Kabul's probably past it a little bit now. Yeah. Like, how oh, I think, I think he's probably the best defender at, South, at Sunderland, yeah. yeah. personally. Yeah, you're right. He probably is past it, but if he's past it, what is, what's Wes Brown and uh, John O'Shea? Oh, yeah. you know, so that, anyways, getting on to Swansea. Oh, by the way, Sunderland... I think they might struggle again yeah. this season, and especially. Low, low mid-table. What's going on with Adam Johnson? Is he playing this season? Uh, not don't a, know. Not a cool, the mate. Potentials that's never going to get filled. Yeah. Yeah. Sadly. Yeah. Sadly. On and off the field. Anyways, getting on to Swansea, uh, Andre Ayew. Now, there's a lot of big raps on him. Massive uh, raps. Yeah, massive Apparently, raps on him. A lot of bigger clubs are after him, and he just wanted to play for Swansea and Gary Monk, which is credit to them. Another Mate, good sign. That, that's the signings you want. A player that is really wants to come to your club and play for you. Massive raps. We watched the preview show in the Premier League and that was just... Mate, basically they said that he's going to easily become that bony replacement and score the goals. That's what they're going to yeah. get their goals from this season. But in saying that, you're not so much of a big rap on him, are you? Oh, I don't know, man. Part of the pun, hey? Part of the pun. Oh, look. He's obviously. Look. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I um, think you got it. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, yeah, yeah. I'll follow you. Yeah. Um, Andre, are you serious? <laughs> Anyways, throwing out. Are you? Um, I think that's about it for Swansea. Not yeah. too many ins, not too many outs. I think they're gonna be mid table again. Can I? Okay. Yeah. Are we giving predictions now or no? Oh, I think they're gonna get very well above the top ten. Not, I, I wow, think really cool, Christopher. I think the squad and what Gary Monk's building at Swansea this season without the Europa League, I could yeah. be wrong. I think yeah. they're not in the Europa League. No, they're, no, not. they're not. But well, that's I think West Ham got Europa League. That's yeah, by mm-hmm. fair play. That's going to, I think, help Swansea a lot. And I think they'll finish there probably seventh, sixth, something like that. Maybe yeah. Above Spurs, maybe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Massive, massive call. Like we said, predictions coming out after transfer <laughs> deadline day. Chris pumping him out right now. 
right, let's get to uh, Tottenham Hotspurs. Let's talk about Tottenham, who had a very, very good season last season, in my opinion. They've had some good signings as well. In uh, Kieran Trippier, or Trippier, however you pronounce that. He's English, but I think you pronounce it like a French yeah. word. Trippier? I'm not <laughs> too sure. Anyways, and Toby all the wild. Now, I, I've got, for me personally, I've got big reps on this guy. He come from Atletico Madrid, played at Southampton alone last season. I really, really like the look yeah, of no, him. Good player, man. Honestly, I wanted United to sign him. Me personally, we need a defender. Yeah. I thought he fits the bill. Him alongside Smalling, mm. they could do well. Can I say something on um, on Alderweireld? Yep. And the only thing I want to say is that last season every Liverpool supporter was was really happy that we signed Dayan Lovren. Okay, and Dayan Lovren was supposed to be a superstar defender, but Dayan Lovren had Victor Wanyama and Morgan Schneiderlin playing in front of him, and he was like, last season he had the same thing at Southampton. I agree. Now whether Alderweireld has got that cover from defensive midfield that Spurs with Bentaleb and. Uh, Mason, I think it could be totally different. You think, he, that, you think he's going to be exposed? He could be, he could be excellent, but I think that he's going to find it harder without Wanyama and Chiara. Yeah. You think he's going to get caught he out? He get caught out a lot, you know. He, he might not, but I think their midfield is, is lacking. That's a good point you raised. That's yeah, a very absolutely. good point. Brilliant. I think Tottenham, they need another striker up front yeah, with yeah. Um, Kane. There's a lot of rumours that Berahino is going to go to Tottenham. That's yep, a quality that's signing, nice. if they can get that. Paulinho has gone, holtby has gone, kabul has gone, um, and that's about it, really. Yeah, and it's been fairly quiet Stambouli. on the Tottenham front. Oh, Stambouli as well, yeah. He's yeah, gone PSG, as well. huh? Yeah, that was, a, that was a bit of a strange it's, one. It didn't happen. He didn't yeah. play, really. I think a lot, a, lot's, a lot of depends on Harry Kane. And oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of Harry Kane. I think he's a quality striker. But... If he doesn't hold up fitness-wise, yeah. form-wise, if yeah. they put too much pressure on him now, I think Spurs' season could unravel if they don't sign another top-class striker. Yeah. I think they should have went. I think they should have really went for Benteke. I don't know why they didn't, unless they did. But do um, you want? I think he's very similar to Harry Kane in the fact yeah. that he hasn't got the pace. Just powerful dudes. Yeah, you know, you, you want someone to be a bit different. To, you know, you've got the extra option. Someone like Berahino. I think Berahino is yeah, a perfect could, fit. It could, it could work well. Anyways, getting off Tottenham and on to Watford. Back in the Premier League. Jeez, a lot of busy, signings. Man, very busy. Yeah, jeez. You've highlighted nearly every player yeah, here. Man. <laughs> All right. Etienne Kapoue from Tottenham. I definitely remember him. Mate, do you want to read these out? Because... Yeah, I'll take you for it. you got Pro <laughs> you got Prodal coming in, centre-back. Holobas, do you guys remember him? Um, left back for Roma. Nah. He was kind of good for Greece. We're Premier League dudes. Yeah. <laughs> Barami. You guys remember Barami? I didn't even know da Mateo yeah, Damien. Yeah, I remember <laughs> Barami. Barami. Barami played for West Ham. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Went I remember to, him. Went to Napoli, didn't quite happen. Went to Hamburg and come back to the Premier League. Britos from Napoli. Yeah. Enough about what food they'll do. Solid, right. mate. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, I cannot see that team gelling. Like, Oh no, there's a lot of signings. There. I said to Edgar, can you highlight one or two players from every team? He's just highlighted it. Like He's just extra. gone 10 players, bang, bang, bang. That's a lot of signings for one yeah, team. It's yeah. For a newly promoted team, it'll, it'll be enough of a struggle. So there. I reckon you don't rate Steven B Burgess? I think he ran out of ink. He ran, he ran out of ink in the highlight. I reckon. No. Alright, West Brom. Another team who was destined to fail and somehow managed to get Tony Pullis and make they survive the drop. They beat... United at Old Trafford. That's a survival kid. Don't ask me. Don't ask me how he did it. But mate, they brought in Ricky Lambert, who had his medical signed, scored two goals after an hour yeah. after his medical on debut, scored a brace. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> um, I find that funny. James Chester, he's a solid defender from uh, Hull. Hull. Yeah, he was all right. And James McLean from Wigan. That's another interesting boy. Yeah. I think they're gonna be all right. I think they're yeah. gonna be alright. As in, I don't think they're getting relegated, but yeah. they'll just survive. They've, they've got Tony on this. If they lose Berahino, it mm. could go tits up yeah. front. Mm. Yeah. My opinion. West Ham in the Europa League. Wow, mm. financial fair play is just not financial. Um, just fair play yeah. from yellow cards and red cards and that. They're in the. They just got in. They scraped through by beating a Maltese team, which is oh, I'm Maltese by nationality on penalties. So they scraped Really? Them. Yeah, they won. Oh, yeah. And they lost 1-0. That's right. They did too, didn't they? Who'd they play? 
Uh, Ber Berkir Kara is their name. Yeah, that's yeah. it. They did too. And they played another team before that to get to this game. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. You, know who, you know who scored for Berkir Kara? Sorry, dude. Yeah. You know Fabrizio Mikkel? You remember Fabrizio Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. For Berkir Kara. Oh, really? Dude, it's there. <laughs> retired, retired in Malta. Anyway. Oh can't. my gosh. He played for Palermo, didn't he? But yeah, he was a good striker. Yeah. West Ham must be struggling. <laughs> In the Europa League, we're talking about here, but um, Slavon Bilic is an ex, ex uh, yeah. West Ham yeah. superstar, basically. Is that now their manager? Ex Croatian coach. I honestly don't know how he is going to go as a manager, but in saying that about West Ham, um, for me, uh, Ogbonna, what a signing. I think. I, I, I remember talking to you about this guy a few years ago, yeah, saying yeah. that I wanted him at United. This is about three years ago. He looks to be really, really good. Went to Juventus, didn't work out there. Now he's at West Ham, of all places. Yeah, I've got a friend of mine who watches um, watches the Serie A, watches a lot of European football. He reckons that he's always said about Agbono will be class, Agbono will be class. Maybe he hasn't fulfilled his potential, but he could be a good signing. Oh, well, to be team. fair, it's quite difficult in front of Bazzagli and Chiellini. Yeah, so. that's right. And Barnucci is very good as well. Yeah. Carl Jenkinson, I'll learn again. I don't know why they just yeah. signed him up. No idea, man. Yeah, but uh, in saying that, Carlton Cole... Released again. Released. No. I'll take that with a pinch of salt. He'll be back next month. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stuart Downing, um, back to Middlesbrough. Yeah. That was, that was interesting. interesting. It's good for the club, I suppose. Yeah, and uh, that's pretty much it for all the clubs. West Ham, mid-table. Mid-table. Have to stay up because this is their last year at Upton Park. So yeah. Oh yeah, that's it, before they moved to Olympic Stadium. But anyways, let's get on to the top four. Alright, so here we go for that top four. Let's talk about from first, and we can talk about Liverpool and Tottenham as well, who might get into the top four, we don't know as of yet. But Chelsea lads, they finished first. They're Premier League champions, and they haven't really extended their squad massively. They got Falcao on loan. Really to, to be honest. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think they uh, put it this way. This is my opinion on Chelsea. They were definitely the Premier League champions, mm -hmm. but not because they were better than everyone else. I think everybody else right. was just in, you know, how can I say, just, transitional. Yeah, in transition mode, you know. And I think Chelsea, they might get caught out this season. Might, yeah. probably not. You know, well, you got to think. Look at Arsenal. You know, they they're, they're no, they're not buying all the players, but they look to be. Getting better and better. Yeah. Um, City, you know, all the money on Delph and Sterling, they look to be getting better. United, we're buying a lot, a lot of players as well. Chelsea, they're not really buying. I know they don't need to, but your thoughts on Chelsea? I think what Chelsea do better than everyone else is they win the games that they, they yep. should win. And they're so consistent. and They can hold a lead, yeah. right? I think a lot of Chelsea's seasons this year rests on Falcao's shoulders. Maybe that sounds stupid, but Diego Costa... He seems Shaky. to be very injury prone. Yep. And if he gets injured, I don't know where they're going to go as in second striker. Yeah. Sorry. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't honestly probably rate Remy. Yeah, is, yeah but is Remy Loic, your Remy, second striker? Is Loic Remy good enough to win you the league? Or if, if, yeah, we'll find out. Because Costa, <laughs> he he's already looks like he's going to miss the first game. Yeah, today. Yeah. hamstring. Yeah, yeah, he's got that chronic hamstring issue. Yeah, something like that. Your thoughts on Chelsea? Oh, look. For me, they were just outright the best, mate. They know how to kill off a game. They can defend... You know, they had player of the year, Hazard, Diego Costa scoring goals left, right and centre. And um, yeah, to be fair, man, um, Falcao and Remo definitely need to step up, do a bit of a job for you. But you know, Matic, they've got... Um, yeah, the pretty good. Zuma coming through. And Oscar's still there. That's a bit of a surprise uh, for me. It's a solid team, man. And yeah. like you said, man, really don't need to top up on much. All right, let's talk about City. Second spot. Yep. You, you do you think they're going to stay second? Personally, it's hard to say at the minute because yeah. the transfer window is still open. But at this stage, I think they could stay second. Yeah. I think they will. Okay. I don't know. I, I, I don't think they will. I don't know. It's just, I think Aguero, yeah. he's just he's got these injury problems. Yeah, man. It's just but, uh, another player that's got injury problems. But for me, I'm going to say this on camera. For me, when on form, not even on form, when fully fit, Sergio Aguero is the oh. best player in the Premier League. Absolutely. Hands down, by a mile. A when he is... Fully fit, not even in form, because he could just not even touch the ball for yeah. 90 minutes and then Pop get up. his first touch and he'll just dribble to play it, bang. Top I'd corner, have brilliant player. I'd have to agree. Like, He's yeah. too good. Like, if you gave me all the money in the world to sign one player, I know he plays for City, but it would be Aguero. Yeah. But unfortunately, he's not fully fit, and that what, that's what makes this so interesting. Yeah. But uh, uh, City, they've still got Bonnie. Yep. Yeah. 
You were big, you had big reps no, on him last I year. Think Absolutely. He's good. I do think he's good, but yeah. whether he can play, it's a big difference changing taking off Aguero and bringing on Boney. You're changing your whole system. Two different players. Yeah, two totally will Sterling players. adapt with Boney as well as he would with Aguero? I don't think so. I, I think that Pellegrini will stick to the front two, like he plays that four four two. Yeah. But the thing with Boney is that he's usually been top dog, as in you know the ball goes straight to him. He has all that space. So can he combine with Sergio Aguero now? That'll, that'll be an interesting part. That is a very good question. Um, James Milner gone. Yeah, Delph replaced him, so not really much yeah. of an issue. Mikael Richards gone, not much. I think City, if they go... What do they need? Another defender? Because let's be real, Mangala, Mangala. 42 men. Poof, that was terrible. But in saying that, I, I was like that one season policy, you know? Your first season, a bit of a freebie. Second season, you've got to start delivering quality, man. So if Mangala is just shocking this season, it's gone. Very true, very true. All right, let's talk about third place, Arsenal. Actually, I just want to chuck one thing in there. I'm tipping Sterling to push Hazard for player of the year. Ooh, big, big, big call. I think he can do it, mate. Raheem Sterling. Raheem the dream Sterling, mate. (laughs) <laughs> All right, let's talk about Arsenal. A lot of talk about yeah. Arsenal challenging for their title. Yep. Did you guys see Mourinho chuck his runners-up medal into the crowd on the weekend? Ooh. Oh, you didn't see that? Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, that uh, thought, I've seen the Arsenal thing. It made me laugh. A little kid caught it and he was so rad, but Mourinho just didn't care. Wow. All right. Yeah, it didn't shake hands with Wenger, but yeah, that's, that's what I saw. Um, Arsenal. All the fans, if you listen to them, they're all going to tell you that they got, story. this is their year. Same they, story, man. But for me... All right, they've signed Czech, but they've done nothing else, Arsenal. Yeah. They've done nothing else. Now, there's a lot, a lot of talks that they're going to sign Karim Benzema. That yeah. would be massive. It would be massive. You can't say no, because I've seen uh, stranger things happen. I don't think that's happening. Did you think we are going to get Di Maria and Falcao last season, the way we did? Not in that fashion, but... Yeah, well, they could get Benzema easily I, in that fashion. Look, in my opinion, if they get, let's say, Madrid... Let me ask you this Congo. question. Did you expect them to get Ozil the way they did from Madrid? Why can't no, they get Benzema? No, no, but... Oh, look, unless some double deal's going on with Madrid at the last second, it's not going to happen, man. Because if they get rid of Benzema, who do they bring in? Well, there's talks that Benitez wants to give Bale more space and play Bale that's up front. A, that's a strike and that's silly. Because that way Isco can fit in behind and, and Isco is going to fit alongside with... The only one I could see going to Madrid is someone like Cavani, but even he's been saying that he's going to play down the middle this year. And look, it's Madrid, mate. They want the flashy players. They do. So I just don't see Benzema leaving. And even if, you know, they've, they've still got no backup for Benzema. If they do sign Benzema, Arsenal... Well, I'll give them a red-hot go, man. Yeah, I think they will give Chelsea a red-hot go. If they sign yeah. Benzema. If they don't, I think they're going to still be where they are this season, in my opinion. Because, let's be real, last season, they were average at the start. Yeah. They, as the season went on, they came into it and they really finished yeah, strong. Look, look, for me, Giroud has to be in the same class as Aguero... As Rooney, as Benteke should be. You know what I mean? He's got to be that 20 to 15 goal striker a season. Right. I don't see that. I really don't. Alright. Your thoughts on Arsenal? Uh, uh, look, I, I think I think Arsenal... I've got the same opinion of Arsenal every year. Mm. So do I. They, I think they'll still sit around third, it's, it's, third fourth it's generic, really. position. I yeah. still don't think... They're, it's like they never pushed yeah. for it. They yeah. don't give it a red hot go, do they? Yeah, they're I still think, missing that midfield. They're yeah. still missing that striker. I think a key for Arsenal is to start the season well with, if they need if they get Aaron Ramsey firing like yeah. he did yeah, a few before years ago. he gets injured. Like yeah. They need him to fire. For, my question is, like, you know, for when they play against Chelsea, well, I know they won, but who goes up against Matic? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, who's yeah, their yeah. big dog? Yeah, and I can't see Coughlin. You know, just, just about every team. Coughlin won't it. survive a whole year. No, no, I, I can't see that happening. Anyways, enough about Arsenal. And Danny Wilbeck lift your game, son. <laughs> I know people say it's always downhill after United, but he's really living up to that, isn't he? Yeah, really. Mate, come on, Danny, you're better than that. All right, let's <coughs> talk about fourth place last season. Man, United said, Edgar, what's going to happen with United? Fourth last season, where are we this season? Second. Second? Falling behind Chelsea. <laughs> Mate, like we said before, keep it's it still a long, long time to go. Keep it what if De Gea goes, we don't play Steam Maria, we don't play De Gea? Do you still think second spot is viable? No. And, and if uh, you know Arsenal get Benzema? Oh, look, like we said, it's all going to come down to you know the final day. What happens can all change in a blink of an eye. But um, yeah, yeah if we keep, For me, if we keep, if we lose De Gea, well, yeah. yeah, De Gea is That's massive. Huge. He is absolutely hashtag massive. Um, but in saying that, I think we will go balls deep. Absolutely. 
to get Lloris if De Gea goes. Apparently that's what's going to happen. Who knows? We could give uh, Victor Valdez to um, mm. Tottenham, who will be looking for a keeper. But anyways, um, for me, I'm wrapped about Memphis Depay. I think I've, I'm just really excited to see him in the Premier League. Big question mark on him. Damian, he looks to be solid, but yeah. I'm a big Raphael fan. Yeah. Massive Raphael Love fan. Leona. Sad to see him go. So, he seems to be half decent. I don't know too much about him. Bastian Schweinsteiger, so excited to see him. Mm-hmm. He seems to be, mate, World Cup winner. You know, He's done it all, Not mate. even World Cup winner. He was like one of the men of the matches in that World Cup final. He's done it all, mate. He's he, it all. he is a born winner. Morgan Schneiderlin, like you said, Chris, in my opinion. Long term. For me, I've been asking for years and years and years, let's sort out the midfield. Let's sort it out. And finally... That Roy Keane replacement. Ten years later, we've done it. The Schmidtfield. <laughs> the Schmidtfield. <laughs> is there now. And uh, Sergio Ramos did not come. It's Sergio Romero yeah. in goal. Oh, look, I think there was a mix-up with Edward Wood. I think he said, get Ramos. He came with Romero. I am, I'm from a Sergio. Romero fan, man. If you had got Sergio Aguero, I would have been happy with that. <laughs> but United, you know, said, for me, there's a lot of outs, man. There's too many outs. Like, I think we should have kept Van Persie for another season, personally. Ah, <sighs> Falcao, what was happening there? I think, I think you got to give credit to Louis Van Gaal. He sees Falcao in training, um, you know, week in, week out. But I don't know. I don't know. Tom Cleverley, he ain't going to be Miss Janko, stuff like that. But yeah, United, you reckon second? Where do you think United are going to finish? I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to predict, man. Very, very hard to predict. Oh, personally, maybe it's my biased opinion, but I think that Liverpool United will be very, very close on the table this season. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I think we've spent very well. Again, it could be my biased opinion, as, as, you, as you know, as a supporter. So Liverpool, Chris, sixth last season, I was about to say fifth. You were fifth up until the last day. Very unlucky. Because it was just... Now, it was a point you lost to Tottenham, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And plus the goal difference as well. I'm not sure about goal difference. Because of the last day. But anyways, talk about United, Tottenham and Liverpool. Because you seem to be putting those three in the same bracket. Would you? Oh, probably not, actually. <laughs> Give your thoughts on that. Give your thoughts on that. Look, I, I don't... I, if, if those of you who have watched the show, you know I do not like Tottenham. He's not a Tottenham fan. But... <laughs> But I would also, this is, I don't think this is my boy. I'm, sorry, I'm a personally a Tottenham yeah, fan, so I, for those subscribers out there who are Tottenham fans, your boys here sticking up I don't for mind Tottenham. But I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think this has got nothing, my prediction of Tottenham, I don't think it's got anything to do with me not liking them. I just, all right. Just the way still, you feel. There's still another two weeks left in the window. I still think that they need to buy players. Yeah, so do Now, I. whether the, Daniel Levy always relies on big sales and, 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 and whether they can afford to buy a big signing, I, I'm not so sure. Mm. Yeah, and I think that oh, okay, they've got Dali Ali and uh, Alderweireld and Trippier. But are they gonna? Uh, yeah, Trippier. Trippier's next... pretty much a backup for Walker, isn't he? Ah, oh, he's better than Walker. Ooh, oh, oh, <laughs> I think Carl Walker is yeah. England's number one right no, back, no, man. Who is? Who is? Nathaniel, Nathaniel Klein is England's number one. I used to know, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that Trippier's gonna. Do get you think he will continue back. to be the number one right back, Klein, when Walker's fully fit? Yeah, hundred percent, man. A hundred percent, and that's yeah. That is a massive. I do call. not rate Kyle Walker at all. I don't know how people rate him. I th- I rate him. Yeah. I think he's half decent, mate. Useless. I, I think. Yeah, I'm, I, I even, I'm a better defender. I even rate Danny Rose as well. I think Danny Rose is class. Yeah, Danny Rose, he's a good player. Yeah, he's a good, very good left back. Yeah. But anyway, back to United and Arsenal. Uh, Liverpool. So, so before that, Tottenham's defense for me is proper class. Fullbacks, defenders, goalkeeper. They are they they're rock solid at the back for me. Who's for Tongan's partner? And yeah, of all, but, but, yeah. yeah, Vertonghen, as good as he is, and he's a beast when yeah. he's fit, he's not fit often. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You know, he gets injured a lot. He got released behind, uh, Lloris behind them. That's quality, yeah, that's quality. But they, 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 I think their midfield lacks. They need, yeah. it's they a weak need midfield. help. They need help from Yeah, their the midfield, field. they really yeah. need. Pulling you never happened. They really need a Schneiderlin. Never happened. They need a Schneiderlin, and they, and they need an Ericsson to just absolutely take it off this season. Yeah. Er- Ericsson and Kane. You got Ericsson, you can see there. Yeah, I've got a question for you guys. And you two in the put the comments down below. Is Harry Kane gonna have another yep. great season? Is he gonna repeat what he did last season? I think he will. Twenty plus goals. I think he will. His quality. He's when you got only one decent striker at the moment. Like he's gonna. He's just gonna get all their chances. He's gonna take their penalties. I think he'll get twenty goals easily. Yeah. I think just for sure. Just because when you're that new boy, 
no one knows a thing about you, but this season I think people will be a bit more prepared on Harry Kane. A lot more responsibility on your shoulders. Can you do it, mate? I think Harry Kane's class. He doesn't rely yeah. on pace. The goals he scores are just Classy wow. Goals, They're yeah. not like tap-ins. They're quality, no. quality goals. It is good strikes. He's got the whole round yeah, package. package. Look at that. He, he was package. linked to United a lot this summer, yeah. and I wasn't really that keen. I'd love him to see another season yeah. at Tottenham and just kill it. Then I'll be happy if he wants yeah. to come over. But... I want to see him kill it again, and I think he will kill it again. It's like second season syndrome. So it's let's talk about Liverpool. <coughs> Look, I'm, I'm happy. You, you got them fifth at the minute? Yeah, I got them sitting fourth or fifth. I think that fourth is probably an optimistic but realistic target. Yep. Um, you know, well, it has to be. You aim, you're not going to go into the season if you wanted to finish fifth, are you? Yeah, no. Nah, and I'm not, uh, all right, I'm, maybe I'm not sold on the defence. Yeah. But. It seems that Rodgers is showing faith in Lovren and Saka and Skirtle as a, as a mm. not not to all play in the same team, but as they're going to be there. Rodgers, three uh, Rodgers the likes three at the back. He, he won't play it. three. He no. won't. Last year with Liverpool, it was a lot of square peg in round holes, and it had, was, wasn't it? They had like wing backs and mm. Mark Sterling Rich played and wing backs. Sterling and played. this season, yeah. I think he's bought to play everyone in what position mm-hmm. that they they want to play in. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think that's what Klein has brought to this club. Yeah, I've got to agree with you there. But uh, so we'll see. We'll see how Liverpool go, man. Who Who are you looking forward to? Oh, for one player I want to talk about, Firmino. No, look, I'm not going to sit here and say oh, Firmino's quality and this and that. You I just have... told me he's going to score thirty goals this season. Firmino. No, I'm joking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you didn't say that. Maybe Benteke. <laughs> Maybe Benteke. But I. I oh, sorry to cut you off. In the comments down below, who is going to score more goals? Harry Kane or or Christian Benteke? Chris has got a bet on with his cousin at the minute, and it's a cracking bet. Edgar, who's your money on? I'm going to back Benteke. Christian Benteke. I'm going to back Benteke. I'm looking forward to seeing Benteke more than any other signing Liverpool's made. Oh yeah, because mm-hmm. ha- Curtis, you could t- tell people how long have we I had a we it? had a we had a bet. What two seasons ago? Yeah, I've loved Benteke. You should, he still owes me a copy of FIFA. Yeah, no, I did. <laughs> I will pay up. Nah, get him sixteen. <laughs> we had a bet like that one, but I had like it was Lukaku versus Benteke. And no, no, it was. It yeah, was, it was Lukaku Benteke. It was Newcastle Villa who's going to finish higher. Oh yes, yeah, so it was that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, we've always, uh, I've always yeah, yeah, liked yeah, he's rated Ben Teke. And I'm happy, so happy we signed him. So. Yeah, so I, honestly, it's so hard. You, if no, I had to choose, I would probably go Harry Kane, and for one reason and one reason only, and that is he is the only striker at Tottenham. <laughs> he's going to play 90 minutes every single game, where if it's yeah. nil nil at Liverpool and they're looking Stunch. for a goal, and you know, Ben Teke's been struggling for like 80 minutes. You know, they might ch- they might take him off and they might put on, you know, Ings up you know f- up front for a bit of extra pace and I just think there's more options at Liverpool, there's Sturridge there to contend with. Where Harry Kane, he's gonna be the number one for ninety minutes every single game. I agree, and I said to this to, to my to my cousin who I had the bet with that Harry Kane is quality and it's not a bit where I'm saying I'm confident Ben is gonna win. I think right, it's, it's gonna be tight very, bet. It's <laughs> a tight bet. It is. It's it can either go either way. Either way. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, lads. For quickly, um, before we end the show, let's get our predictions for the end of this week. Very, very quickly. Yes. Okay. First game of the. Uh, uh, I was about to say the episode. First game of the Premier League season kicking off. Don't need that anymore. Looking through that one. Manchester United open up the Premier League season as we did last year. Hopefully, we don't lose again like we did last time. I'm so confident. United <laughs> versus Tottenham. I am going with a Manchester United victory. Yay. 2-1. Harry Kane to opening the scoring. Oh. Rooney double to come back. We're going to win 2-1. Right. United for me. 3-1 United. 3-1 United. We're going down the middle, man. Draw. You're going to go a draw? I'm going to draw, man. Get rid of me, huh? Get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> a draw? Yeah, I'm going down the middle. You're having a laugh, son. I'll text you in the 90th minute when we're up. I'll be happy to receive that text. I'll be happy to receive that text. Bournemouth at home to Aston Villa. I'm going to go with Bournemouth. The crowd's going to be buzzing. They're going to be up and about. Bournemouth for me. Yeah, Bournemouth for me. Bournemouth for Chris. I'm going down the middle again. Hey? I'm going down the middle again. You're going to go another draw. Wow. Okay. 
Everton, Watford, Everton for me. Lukaku hat trick. Whoa. Oh. Everton for me. Yeah. Okay. Leicester, Sunderland. This is where we're going to see our first draw for me. I'm going to cheeky Sunderland win. Oh, an away I'm win. I have to agree for because we draw. And I am going to go for. Probably another draw between Norwich and Crystal Palace. I think that one's going to be a bit tight down at Carrow Road. Yep. It's going to be a bit tough. One. Who are you going for? I'll go for Norwich. I'll a go. home win. That's right. going to be interesting. Chelsea versus Swansea. You've heard it here now. Chelsea will win 4-0. Oh, I, I don't wow. think Swansea are that bad. That's a smoking cut. I think it'll be Just close. because Premier League Champions opening day always hit the ground running. It's just common knowledge. It happens every year. Year in, year out. Watch Swansea win 4-0. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, Arsenal, West Ham. Back in Arsenal. So am I, but not as not easy yet, yet. as people think, exactly. personally. Who are you going for, Chris? No, I think Arsenal win. We're, yeah. talking, we're talking 2-1, 1-0. Confident at the moment. Alright, Newcastle, Southampton. Oh, another tight match. I'm probably going to go a draw. Yeah, so am I. Personally, a draw. Chris, who are you yeah. going to go for? Yeah, I might go for my first my first away win. I think Southampton. I think Newcastle's going to struggle. Yeah, I think that might. Um, but in saying that, you know, new coach and manager, ta ta ta. Stoke at home to Liverpool. Now, if you're going off the last game these guys played, it's an easy decision. But I've lots a lot's changed in two months, <laughs> and I really don't know. Yeah, by the way, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm going to go with a Liverpool 2-1 away win. My first away win. And I'm, and I'm going to actually go for a draw. Oh, yeah. And I would, I'll tell I, you, I would chew your hands off for a draw right now. Yeah? yeah. You would? I'm, I'm going to back Stoke, man. Wow. Three of us yeah, different. Yeah, all different. I like Unbelievable. this. Unbelievable. I like this one. All right. West Brom at home to City on the Monday night. That's going to be Tony Pulis. That's they a mission, defend, that That's defend. a mission. That's a mission, man. I think I might go West Brom City. That's a hard one. Tony Pulis, they're going to break him down. No Aguero. I think he's going to miss the opening game from the Copper World Cup. I'm probably going to go a draw. All right. Chris? Nah, I think City will win. Yeah, I'm back in City. Yeah. Sterling just scored double. Anyways, yeah. So, anyways, lads, that's the end of the seven show. We're going to be back next week. And don't forget, uh, if you've got any questions, put the uh, comments down below or follow me. On Twitter or Chris or Edgar, everything's going to be in the link in the description. Get your questions in because next week we're going to be answering Twitter questions. We had no time today. We had all the transfers to get through. But definitely next week, lads, we're going to be talking about your questions for us. Hopefully, United get off to winning start. And for your sake, Chris, hopefully Liverpool get off to winning start as well. But lads, hope you enjoyed the 7 show. It is back. And uh, thank you. And uh, we'll see you next week. Take care. Okay, and peace.